Hello, beautiful people. Feature me. So, first of all, we will start with the typing practice, as always. We have a new timer in here, which hopefully will not eat my CPU for breakfast. Uh, let's go. It's five percent. I thought I did worse. Uh, so that, that that is good news. I have one minute, and I will have a meeting in a few. So I will set up uh, another timer, and that will be oh, what it will be. I had somewhere. Opened browser stopwatches and okay, name was free. So, manual later, maybe that 
good one. Okay, well, I keep this in here. And we'll modify this. So, uh, da, da, da. time format. I don't need hours. Okay, and now I will. timer and we will say uh, 25 minutes in here okay why is there a one so oh destroy you thank you for uh, services you go in the place like so for example and uh, we have a uh, what the timer oh here we go that's why so here it is 25 minutes i'll see about that so okay i just found out that i don't have a time i have approximately 10 minutes so we'll change this to uh, 10 minutes Okay, um, then we will start and I will look if uh, the execute program.com we have some reviews or something to do and I have we do something in SQL I believe should be at least. Uh, so reviews are ready, okay. Let's go there. Let's go there. So yeah, so it returns nothing, but the exec function returns empty array if there's nothing. Okay, so what do we have? We have the binding, and that, that's, that is okay. So, creating cat table, name, owner name, name, owner name, two, two columns, and we will get this guy so it will say name and here it will be mm. Wilford oh. uh. select name from cats where name and that's okay so this should work and it that's all the review there is i'm not complaining okay at first glance sql databases find why is this apostrophe in here is that something i don't know about english language probably at first glance sql databases Bind parameters seem unnecessary. And bind parameters are the question mark and select from use where blah blah blah. Yeah. Can't we just use string concatenation instead? Uh, imagine that we are writing an account, a registration form for a web app. For a web Imagine that we are writing uh, an account registration form for the web app. The users enter their email address into our form. Then we insert the email address into our database. Okay. Uh, 
In the next example, look at how build how we build the insert statement. We are concatenating the strings to build the SQL rather than using bind, bind parameters. I see it, so that would be the same. But I would, I wouldn't say it's as read or readable as is it. What code example will technically work? Technically, that's the only way to be correct. <laughs> if all of our users are very nice people who don't know about SQL injection attacks, ah, now we are getting in there. So. In any real world system, that goes is very, very bad. It's the worst code in this course. It contains a security hole that will allow an attacker to execute any SQL that they want. They can pull data out of database or change it or delete it. All they have to do is enter carefully built string into account registration form. Sure. Let's start by examining what do I we build that query. Plus email plus. Well forget about the data database itself for a moment and just focus on SQL. Be careful with the next few code examples. It's easy to make mistake with the quotes. You might find it useful to copy and paste the strings together, emulating what JavaScript will do. Const email, an example, insert into user email, and then we do that, okay. Yep, sure. Continue. Constant email. Oh, no. Insert into. Well, so this one will turn nothing. What? What do you want? It does not execute anything, it just does. Ah, you meant. Ah, I see it. I see it now. You want what the string equals to. Oh, I will get to it. Don't worry. Three minutes, we'll get it. So it will be, I will just copy this. Then copy. Then I will take this guy. And uh, it is, oh no. Ah. Like so. Bum, what? <sighs> How come insert into users email values and here is oh I see. Yep.
this, that, and now we will do this guy. Ah, let's see. What will happen if the user typed the last email string into the registration form emails field? It won't result in a user with email column of instead the combined string shown all about with executed as SQL including drop table. After uh, the semicolon, it will automatically drop the entire user table in our production database. Bad times. Let's see the SQL injection run for real, deleting the table. Remember that you can type error if the code will error. Okay. So, what do we got here? Da -da -da -da. So we are creating a table of users, email text unique, and now we are... Okay, so we will get nothing. What? Error. What? Ah, because I didn't get the users, right? And there's more complete version using our, our general register function. Da -da -da. Drop table. Okay, so it is error because the table is no longer, no more. It is destroyed. Bye bye. I forgot to turn on the blinking. Ta -da 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 -da. Colors. Uh, or maybe that one. Blink. Test. Okay. Stop blink. Okay. And they are still not doing the call. What's happening? Oh, it just started again. Oh, uh, I cannot. They just started. Okay, so that means we are done. Done is better than perfect. And...